Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Entertainment Earth Headquarters. I'm your host, Joe, and it is time for Hot Off the Truck. This week, I'm giving you a special sneak peek at Triple Force Friday. That's right, on October 4th, we're gonna be launching a ton of exciting items from The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and Jedi The Fallen Order. So today, I just wanna show you some of my favorite stuff that's coming up and give you a little sneak peek. Let's get this party started. The Vintage Collection honors the history of Star Wars action figures, seen here in the Kenner-style packaging. These are three and three quarter inch figures that feature a ton of awesome detail in the sculpt and accessories. If you compare this ray to the Black Series ray, you'll see they have almost the same details in terms of costuming, articulation, and accessories. This is our first look at one of the Knights of Ren. You see some awesome sand detailing on the bottom, a very unique weapon included. I can't wait to see how these guys fit into the story. Poe Dameron of the Resistance sporting an X-Wing uniform. And the new character Zori Bliss, who we know is played by Carrie Russell and has some sort of connection to uh, Poe's character in the past. So it'll be interesting to see how those two tie in together. Again, these are inspired by the classic look of Star Wars action figures, and some of these characters are kind of a good tell on what might be happening in The Rise of Skywalker. From Funko, we'll be seeing pop vinyls featuring all of the new characters from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Rey, Kylo Ren, Supreme Leader, Finn, Dio, BB-8, Sith Jet Trooper, Rose, Lieutenant Connix, which is cool because this is the first time we'll be seeing her as a figure, and Lieutenant Connix is played by Billy Lord, the real-life daughter of Carrie Fisher. Poe Dameron sporting his new look for the movie, Lando Calrissian, who is wearing an outfit reminiscent from the Solo movie, and a completely new character, Janna. From The Mandalorian on Disney+, Plus, we see Cara Dune. Played by MMA fighter and actress Gina Carano, Cara Dune is a bounty hunter and ex-rebel shock trooper, which is probably the reason for her rebel insignia tattooed on her face. IG-11. Not to be confused with IG-88, IG-11 is a bounty hunting droid that's voiced by Taika Waititi and will be teaming up with the Mandalorian during the series. Quill or Coil? I'm not exactly sure how to say that name as this is the first time we're seeing more information on the character. This is an Ugnaught who's voiced by Nick Nolte. I mean, do we need to say any more? In addition to the Funko Pop vinyl figures, we're also seeing two vehicles. You have the First Order Tread Speeder featuring two First Order Troopers and the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren in the TIE Whisper. On Triple Force Friday, we'll also see an entirely new line of Star Wars action figures, the Galaxy of Adventures. Now, I know there was a lot of skepticism from the community when these figures were first announced. However, after getting them in hand, I am proud to say that I think fans are going to love these figures. They are an entirely new size. They are five inch scale and they have a kind of unique look to them. They are stylized, almost in the Ralph McQuarrie way. The droids, R2-D2, BB-8, and Dio all look incredible in this style. Personally, I think fans are going to be really excited when they actually get their hands on these figures, so I highly recommend you get on this, even if you're a little skeptical. For Star Wars Galaxy of Adventures, we'll also see a vehicle. You have the brand new First Order Driver and Tread Speeder. Again, this vehicle and figure feature the same stylized vibe that you see on the other figures, some awesome play features, and a really unique look. Personally, I think these are going to be the standout of Triple Force Friday. Let us know what you think down in the comments. The Star Wars The Black Series is obviously a fan favorite line, and of course, we're going to see action figures on Triple Force Friday. 
For the first time, they are coming in an all-white limited edition box. The first run of these figures is only going to be available at Brick and Mortar and our booth at NYCC starting on Force Friday. His body is shielded in a Beskar armor. His face is hidden behind a T-visored mask, and his past is wrapped in a mystery. The Mandalorian is battle-worn and tight-lipped, a formidable bounty hunter in an increasingly dangerous galaxy. This figure is a standout in the case. With his rifle, which drew its inspiration from the Ambin Phase Pulse Blaster seen in the Star Wars Holiday Special, to his pieced together armor, some fans can even spot some Easter eggs hidden in the armor. Be sure to let us know in the comments if you see any. Rey continues to study the Jedi ways, but she grows concerned about what the future and the Force may hold in store for her. Dio, cobbled from odds and ends in the workshop of a droid smith, little Dio is an impressionable little roller that becomes fixated upon BB-8. It's interesting that Rey comes with a lightsaber that has a dark blue, almost purple hue to it. Could this be a new saber? Or is it because she cobbled together the old Skywalker saber? The First Order readies an army of elite soldiers that draws inspiration and power from a dark and ancient legacy. With a name like the Sith Trooper, these soldiers, I mean, are they going to be working for Palpatine? They seem to be part of the First Order, and with a name like Sith Trooper, are these soldiers Palpatine's elite troops? Second Sister Inquisitor, a vengeful warrior of the Empire tasked with tracking down Jedi survivors. The Second Sister Inquisitor is driven by her all-encompassing hatred of the Order. Here we have the First Order Stormtrooper. The First Order's infantry units are trained from birth given unit designations instead of names, and fed a steady diet of First Order propaganda to ensure absolute loyalty. A Jedi Padawan during the Clone Wars, Cal Kestis narrowly escaped the horrors of Order 66 and was forced into hiding. Together with the explorer droid BD-1, he embarks on a journey to rebuild the Jedi Order while evading the terrifying Imperial Inquisitors. Fallen Order sounds like the story that we all wanted from Rebels but never quite got, with Cal taking the role of Kanan. Supreme Leader Kylo Ren We've seen plenty of Black Series Kylo Ren, but this one might be the best. Of course, he comes with the lightsaber accessories, but the best part of this figure is the full cloak and hood, which you can either display up or down. Ships traveling to and from Tatooine have resulted in Jawas leaving their desert homeworld, and those that do arrive on new planets continue their obsessive old habits and need for technology. That's truly what drives them. It's unclear if this figure is from the Rise of Skywalker or, most likely, the Mandalorian. Triple Force Friday isn't only about action figures and collectibles, there's also going to be a ton of exciting apparel and accessories like this awesome Rey bag from our friends at BioWorld. Inspired by Rey's look in the movies, this bag and wallet are an awesome, chic way to show off your fandom at an affordable price point. Of course, you see all of the details and color of the bag and wallet are inspired by Rey's look in the movies, and you even have the awesome Rebel insignia that we all know and love. Well, there you have it. Be sure to jump in the comments. Let me know what you're excited for on Triple Force Friday, because whether you're a Jedi or a Jawa, a Sith or a smuggler, there's going to be something that'll be a fine addition to your collection. So be sure to check back on October 4th for all of the new items. I've been Joe, you've been awesome, may the force be with you.